So here at Free Wildlife, we're an Indigenous wildlife centre. So we don't take in non-Indigenous birds or animals. So we don't do dogs or cats or things like that. Um, and we don't do peacocks, um, minor birds, feral pigeons. Those are the few things that we don't do. Everything else from the wild comes in here. So we do a high percentage of birds because we're an urban wildlife centre. So urban wildlife, what people see in their gardens are generally birds. So that's, we do a high percentage. We also see a lot of small mammals. So that includes spotted genets, of which there are many throughout the whole Johannesburg area. Um, hedgehogs, African hedgehog, they're an endangered species, but we see quite a lot of hedgehogs. Um, bush babies, squirrels, striped field mice, even little shrews, um, African bullfrogs we've had here, snakes we have here, um, all the smaller mammals, um, and maybe a bit, we've had a few baby antelope too. So uh, as long as they're indigenous, we can take them. I'm Margie Brocklehurst, CEO at Friends of Free Wildlife, and I'm just going to admit these babies that I've collected on the way to the centre. Um, it's Last night we had a storm and these little guys um, were caught in the storm a few days ago actually. They're about four or five days old now. But this is the nest that they came in. This is a weaver nest. It's just the most amazing job that they do. But it fell or was damaged and it came down. And these little guys, these three teeny weenies, are three tiny baby weavers. Our vets do operations on bush babies, squirrels, bats, tiny little bats we've had. That's the Bryanston Avian Exotic and Small Animal Clinic. And they do all our work for us, no matter what the species, and they don't charge. This is um, two sparrows, both cat catches. One's got a puncture wound. That's here. Free Me Wildlife Center um, was exactly what we are now. I was one of the founding members in 1997 and, and I was there till 2010 and it was a very, very well-known wildlife centre and they went through a very turbulent time in between 2014 and 2015 with new members of the board who didn't understand wildlife rehab, never worked with animals before and it actually brought it to a close. So they were closed in at the uh, end towards the end of 2015 and after trying to recover free me for many months and doing all sorts of work to try and get it back it was obvious that they weren't going to relinquish any power back so we decided we had to start again so myself and many of the volunteers here are, are volunteers from the original free me claudius of course um, came with us too as, as our manager and um, and we started again it's been very difficult um, because when an NPO falls badly, um, it reflects badly on all the other wildlife and NPOs and it takes a long time to build up trust again with donors and sponsors and uh, we've not got that far yet. We have lots of challenges at Friends of Free Wildlife but our biggest one is financial. Um, to do what we do, we obviously need money to feed our animals, to feed, doesn't matter what it comes in, they need food, they need care, they need attention. We're very lucky that we have our volunteers that do a brilliant job here. We only have two paid members of staff, but those salaries have to be paid on time every month. 